what's going on you guys back again today's video is going to be just a quick upgrade video for a friend uh, he has an all-in-one asus laptop and i wanted to save him a few hundred dollars because they were going to upgrade and buy a new one and all they do is you know quick you know just uh, photo editing video editing just ba basic day-to-day -day tasks they don't need to buy a new pc and this thing is just fine it has an i3 in it has four gigs of ram windows 7 so I figured upgrade to a solid state drive. We're replacing this older one terabyte hard drive. Replacing it with a one terabyte crucial solid state drive. Uh, they want to stay on Windows 7, so the best way to do that and easiest way to do that is just to clone it straight from a one terabyte to another terabyte, one terabyte hard drive. It's a little easier that way. I know there's ways to do it to a smaller one, but why not? They wanted the space anyway. So a one terabyte solid state drive. Gonna be doing eight gigs of RAM. Like I said, this isn't a gaming rig or anything. And they're not doing like 4K editing video. It's just pictures, videos, simple stuff. So eight gigs of RAM is just fine. And then this is just a bracket to replace uh, the hard drive. That way I could put the solid state drive uh, in the bracket into the all-in-one bracket. That way it stays in there and I it's not going to look stupid. I could honestly take the solid state drive and just tape it here and it'll be just fine. But um, I wanted to keep it, uh, you know, perfect. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to shortcut someone's uh, rig. Maybe if it was mine, I would take shortcuts. But see, this is just, um, you mount your solid state drive here. And then it takes up the same size as a regular three and a half inch uh, mechanical drive. So it'll slide in to the old bracket and it'll look clean this one is from Corsair I didn't even know Corsair made brackets like that but it's kind of cool and... but I'm gonna also be replacing the thermal paste uh, I'm sure it's old dried up cleaning out the fan and uh, it should be just as new runs just as well as some of these newer machines uh, the only other recommendation I suggested was upgrading to Windows 10, but they want Windows 7. That's totally fine with me, their computer, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll uh, get her done. Not sure how well you could see that. That's one of the main reasons I like to take these apart. It's not bad that there's that much, but it can affect temperatures, few degrees here and there. But as with this being an all-in-one computer, you want to make sure you take advantage of every degree you can get. And over putting way too much thermal paste won't kill anything, but it does affect your temperature by, it could be four or five degrees, but that's four or five degrees in a all-in-one, not four or five degrees in a desktop computer. There's a huge difference between uh, your thermals in a compact computer like this, because that's all you get for cooling, especially for your CPU. So I'm going to be replacing it. Um, he doesn't really need it, but I have a bunch of them. So the MX4, uh, the Arctic MX4s. I use it on my main gaming rig. Yeah, won't won't uh, won't focus, but oh well. So I'm going to be replacing that thermal paste and putting the correct amount. And uh, it's always good to redo it anyway. So uh, we'll we'll get it going. Another thing to uh, do, make sure you clean out all the dust out of the fins. I'm going to do the same with the fan. But that's basically about it for cooling with this all-in-one. Very simple, easy to use.
and I got the hard drive installed. Fans clean. Heat seen, uh, heat fins are cleaned out. New thermal paste. RAM installed. We'll get it back together and boot her up and wipe out. Well, basically, <laughs> just do the recovery and re reset it back to factory. Um, cause like I said, they want to keep it at Windows 7. So we'll get her going. Running. The clone actually worked. Uh, what I didn't show you is I tested it before I threw the cover back on. Uh, so if you're doing something like this, upgrading, don't don't just throw everything in there and not test it. I, I threw it together, tested it really quick. Uh, so everything on the PC they didn't need, so I did a fresh install. Well, I didn't do a fresh install really. I just used the software that Asus includes. Most PCs nowadays include recovery software to where you could just uh, recover it back to stock settings from when you first got it. So as you can see this thing has a bunch of bloatware. I'm gonna go through and delete it all for my buddy and get it all up and running. But uh, you know don't waste your money buying a new PC if it's only a couple years old. Throw a solid state in, in the computer. Uh, get some new RAM. You don't need to spend four or five hundred dollars upgrading when it's unnecessary. Uh, unless, like I said, unless you were building a gaming PC or something, which again, gaming PCs usually last a while as well. For a couple hundred bucks, easy upgrade, it'll last you a long time. Solid state drives are getting cheaper, they're the best ways to go. I recommend it for anyone looking for an upgrade. Solid state drives are the best. Um, either than the new M.2 and NVMe drives, which... Uh, basically is unnecessary power that you need. I don't even run one anymore. <laughs> so that's really all of it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was in hopefully it was informal. Um shows you a few things that you could do to an older PC. Catch you guys in the next one.